Hello everyone, welcome to today's another cooking video. Today we're baking a, one of my favorite desserts. It's a molten chocolate cake. For this recipe, we're gonna need these ingredients. We're gonna need six ounces of chocolate, bitter, bitter sweet chocolate chips, two whole eggs and two egg yolks, two tablespoons of uh, all-purpose flour, quarter a cup of uh, white sugar, four ounces of unsalted butter, and also we're gonna need five ramekins, uh, eight ounce uh, ramekins. So all these ingredients we're going to need for this recipe. I hope you guys like it. It's one of, one of my favorite, one of my favorite desserts of all time. And thank you again for watching my cooking videos. And please don't forget to subscribe. Um, and don't forget to leave a comment if you want me to make it in a different way, or maybe I can add anything else to the recipe. Please. Um, I always I will be appreciate your opinion and your comment please share, share, share this recipe with your friends and family so let's 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 get started okay the first step we're going to do is get the uh, water boiling that we're gonna use it for to melt our chocolate chips so I got all the uh, six ounces of chocolate chips then the four ounces of butter unsalted butter So we wanna uh, in a different bowl we wanna use the four uh, eggs and the two tablespoons of sugar and a pinch of salt. So now the the water is boiling. I'm gonna melt my chocolate chips. Just constantly stir around, and you don't have to get like really really hot on the chocolate. Just enough to be melted. And then we wanna. Go ahead and whisk uh, our egg, egg yolks and hold eggs as well. <laughs> if you can do a multitask, one hand on the chocolate, one hand on the eggs, then it's it's fun, but it's a little bit challenging. So on the eggs, we try to make them um, until they thick and pale. That's what the that's what you're looking for. So now our chocolate is being melted. And I'm gonna go ahead and wait a little bit to cool it down. If it's, if of course, if it's too hot, you don't wanna got, you don't wanna get it too hot, because otherwise the eggs will cook. And look, the uh, the eggs are already done. So for the next thing, I'm gonna get a ramekin, and with the remaining grease from the uh, paper from the butter, I'm gonna get around the ramekin, all of them as well. And this one will help of not sticking the chocolate, the molten chocolate cakes on the ramekin. I, I will say this is optional. I mean, if you prefer to eat it on the ramekin, it's, of course it's up to you. So, and then I'm going to add a little bit of flour, just kind of coat it around the ramekin. Just, it doesn't have to be uh, too much. And like I and like I mentioned, this one will be um, won't be able to to stick, stick, get stuck or stick um, your molten chocolate, cake, molten chocolate cakes on the ramekin. But like I was, like, like I mentioned before, this one is optional. You can always, you know, if you don't want to, if you want to eat it on the ramekin while they're still hot, it's of course it's, it's your choice. So now we have the chocolate already cooled down. So I'm gonna add my egg yolks and whole eggs in there slowly as you can. The smell of the chocolate smells smells really good. And this is the key to try to go as slow as you can. Because like I said, the chocolate is not completely hot, but if you can go as slow as you can, that will be perfect. So that way you don't cook the eggs. Try to incorporate all the eggs into the chocolate sauce. And the chocolate is done. And also, I'm gonna add my two 
two spoons of flour. Two, two tablespoons of flour. Now with the spatula, try to get all the flour around. So they don't, so they get, they get all the, the, the flour even. Because with the whisk, it won't, you wouldn't get it. You gonna you wouldn't get it all even. So now I'm going to um, use one uh, large cooking spoon. And I'm just gonna go take one cooking spoon of chocolate mix into uh, one of each ramekin. And of course, the remaining chocolate, I'm going to use the spatula to scrape it off out of the bowl. So we're going to cook it at three, um, 450 degrees for about 10 minutes. So in a different one, I got half a cup of cream, heavy cream and one tablespoon of uh, sugar. This one will be for our whipped cream. And this is like optional as well. And what I did here, I did a chocolate. I melt the chocolate with butter and I put some um, small marshmallows and I burnt them, out, burnt them out and I put it in, back in the refrigerator. This is my, this will be my garnish of, uh, in the chocolate cake. So now the cakes are done. So I'm gonna, I, what I did, I flipped, I flipped the ramekin down. Then I, I tap the, the ramekin so the chocolate cake will uh, be free. Then I'm gonna place my whipped cream, my chocolate garnish with marshmallows, and make some chocolate sauce. All around. And I'm going to dust it with a little bit of uh, powdered sugar. This one looks amazing, guys. Okay, guys, this is the final dish. Look at this, it looks amazing. Oh, chocolate. Oh man, can't wait to try it. Let's try it. I like it. Okay, my son is saying he likes it, so he can't not wait to try the chocolate cake. Mmm. He wants mm. it. He wants it. He said he wants it too. Well, I gotta share with my son. Hope you guys enjoyed this recipe and I'll see you in the next one.